Hey, hey, welcome back to Cheating on My Religion. I am Sarah Ives, and this is just my little spiritual journey. I am from Richmond, Virginia, and I've always been religious, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. And recently, I have discovered new things. So if you haven't seen my first couple of videos, go back and watch those. Uh, I kind of give you a little bit of that background and why I started this. So we're going to jump right into the first thing that I started to explore when I really started to understand that I could do more with my spirituality. So watch my last video um, because I'm talking about a grounding experience that I had over the summer. And what came out of that grounding experience was the knowledge and understanding that there are energies in our body and in the universe and you know in the world that we can connect with we can be in tune with in ourselves i have since learned that that's a thing called chakras that i am exploring more um there are different chakras in your body that are associated with different colors and my friend gave me this little card about it um, so I could learn more, but that is called chakras. But when I first started to explore this, I had no idea. I just knew and understood that there was energy coming from the earth and I could tap into that. I didn't know that there were different ones that I could explore. I just knew that I wasn't exploring any kind of energy, right? And so the first thing that I dug into was just understanding that energy flows in our body and that we can be in control of that energy, that we can change and shift that energy. I learned through personal development that it takes 90 seconds to switch energy and emotion in your body. And that's something that I never knew uh, with having anxiety. I was diagnosed with anxiety in 2010 uh, and it took a little toll on my spirituality. And so I have now learned that I can be in control control of things that I didn't know I could be in control of. And the first one was my energies. I thought that it was just me and this is my anxiety and this is how it is. Uh, and now I know that when you are out of alignment, when your body and energies aren't aligned, that is when you're feeling anxious and when you're feeling discomfort. And so now I have been on this journey of doing different things to keep my energy aligned because I understand now that there's different things inside of me that govern different areas of my being. Uh, and that is true whether you are spiritual or not. And that's something that has been foreign to me. When I was younger, um, it meant that you were following another religion if you were interested in things like chakras. It meant that you were cheating on your religion if you were looking into different things. Um, some spiritual practices have been associated with other religions and that's because they know what it does in your body. So I have been on this journey of figuring out my energy and how to keep it aligned since uh, about July or August um, of 2020 and it has been so amazing. It's allowed me to figure out my purpose in life. I fully feel like my purpose in life is to connect with energy and abundance so that I can live up to the potential of allowing other people, you all, to understand that there's so much more you can live up to. You don't have to be a victim to your anxiety or your mental health. I fully feel like that's my purpose and understanding that I can align my energies is what allowed me to understand that purpose. I literally have it printed out and hanging on a paper on my wall so that I can read it every day and remember that I'm responsible for aligning that energy. That is something that I never would have thought that I would say in a million years because that is something that was up to the anxiety. If I had anxiety, that was the excuse, the reason for everything. And I know now that aligning my energy and being in tune with my energy and just understanding that I can be in control 
of all of that has been so freeing. It is the most freeing feeling to control your thoughts and your mind and not be a victim to the anxiety. And so some of the things that I have started to incorporate into my life, because that's really what we want to talk about, right? Is how is the religious girl incorporating energy practices into her life? So first of all, I am talking to everyone that I can, that I know. Uh, I keep showing this card because one of my good friends gave me this because she is in tune with these types of things. And this has an explanation of all of the chakras on it. And so I kind of figured out that some of the things that we've been experiencing by we, I mean my husband and I, that we've been experiencing in our lives could be associated with our energy is not being aligned in the right way. And I'm going to get into that more in some other videos. But what really set this off for me was reading about the sacral chakra. My husband and I um, have been married for almost five years and have been trying to get pregnant like that whole time. And so we're experiencing some infertility issues. And when I read about the sacral chakra, the biggest thing that it governs is sexuality and fertility. And so it just kind of blew my mind and made me go deeper into this energy exploration journey. And so I'm going to get more into the sacral chakra stuff in another video. But what I've been doing to align my energy and keep myself uh, in the right focus, energy focus, uh, is just doing grounding practices. I try to do them as often as possible. Um, you know, planting my feet firmly on the ground, envisioning what I want, what abundance I'm attracting. I've incorporated meditating more into my day. Uh, that's something, again, that was always associated with other religions and, you know, we weren't really allowed to explore it. And so now that I have explored it and understand that this concept of energy comes from the universe and from God and from creation, it's something that really grounds me and helps me feel calm and and connected with my purpose and my abundance. So I've added meditating, I've added grounding in, I have added looking at the chakras and what energy does, uh, breathing exercises, I've added in more. I've always kind of understood that breathing helps anxiety, but I never really understood that breathing exercises can help with your energy and help align your energy and, and keeping yourself, you know, all together. Uh, and the biggest thing that I do is just intentional thinking. It was a really hard pill to swallow that I could proactively be in control of my anxiety, which is what started all of this um, spiritual journey and all of the things that I have been working on lately. Intentional thinking and giving myself the thoughts that I want to push me through the day has really changed how my day looks and how my anxiety looks. So the first thing that I explored was the idea of energy and the flows of energy in your body. I am not an expert on it, so I'm not gonna sit here and explain to you how all of the energies works. I'm just here to let you know that regardless of your spiritual background, these are things that you can explore and be involved in as well. Again, I'm gonna get more into this in later videos, but really aligning your energy and allowing your body and your spirit and your mind to become open to what the universe has for you is really why we're all here. We are entitled to the abundance that is around us every single day uh, and just aligning our energy to it allows us to receive it. So the first thing again that I explored was just different kinds of energy and what energy does in your body and that you can be in control of it, you guys. That's the biggest thing is that you can be in control of that energy. My favorite, favorite, favorite quote is that energy flows where attention goes. So what your attention is on, what you're focusing on is where your energy is going to go. So if you're constantly focusing on the negative things and what's not working out, that's where your energy is going to go and that's how your life is going to be. But if you're focused on positivity and you approach all situations with joy, even the stressful ones, 
that's how your energy is going to be. And you're going to feel rejuvenated and excited every single day. I tell you this because that is how I feel. Even while living with anxiety, I have anxiety every single day. I still wake up with anxiety, but the things that I'm exploring now and the knowledge that I've gained allow me to be in control of that. So just knowing that you have different energies in your body that you can control and even, you know, use to your advantage or, you know, put to work for you in different ways. Again, I'm going to get into the sacral chakra things that we've explored, but I've added things like gemstones to my daily routine and just knowing that those things are okay was a huge weight off of my shoulders. So my hope, my intention, my goal is to help those of you that have felt like you're cheating on your religion understand that these things are here for you to use and it's okay for you to explore them. If you need permission, you have permission to explore the things that you need to explore. And more importantly, you have permission to be in control of your energy and align your energy the way that you need to, the way that your higher power or your higher purpose is calling you to. I hope that all of you can understand that it's okay to explore things and to understand energy and be aligned with it. Regardless of what your spiritual or religious background is, you can question those beliefs. You can create new beliefs and you can still be religious and spiritual at the same time. So just understand that you have energy in your body that you can be in control of and then go explore it. Learn how to do grounding experiences. Learn how to meditate Create intentional thoughts throughout the day so you're in control, right? Take control of your life and your energy. That was the biggest revelation for me when exploring spirituality. It's not cheating on your religion to explore spirituality. And I want you to understand that you can be in control of your energy even while living with whatever you have going on. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for following me on this journey, for being here with me. Leave me some love, some comments, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Maybe share it with your friend. We're all just here trying to live a little bit better, you guys. And the biggest thing that I have done is get in tune with my energy and understand how energy works. So I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe and I'm super thankful for you. I will see you soon.